Okay, today I thought we would work on seven basic ways to do Sankyo. So Sankyo has in common that we always have the Sankyo grip, that's why we call it Sankyo. That's your palm on the back of the hand, the fingers curled past the blade of the hand and the thumb over here, right? And here's our Sankyo exercise. So what they have in common is that grip. That grip always must be light. If you find yourself squeezing on Sankyo, your key's gonna stop right here. It won't work very well. And the key thing in all these Sankyos is to control the shoulder. To get the person down, it's not about pain here, it's about controlling the shoulder. So we're gonna explore different ways to do that. Why seven different ways? Well, we could have eight or nine, who knows? But you shouldn't just have one. Because one thing can always be countered. It's always nice to have multiple ways. And it's not that just one thing's right, right? There's not, this is the only correct Sankyo. Any Sankyo that fits those descriptions and is in accordance with the principles of harmony is a correct Sankyo. So we're gonna, uh, let me first work with the way we teach beginners. So as we shift our thumb out 45, we're gonna shift our body. And this 90 degree angle stays. So you see a lot of people just doing it with their arm. That's not a good habit. You wanna do it with your center, shifting your center, keeping your fingers pointed to the ground, not up, not back, just pointed to the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Sometimes people let this bend like this, the typical Sankyo grip. And I'm gonna take over and get the same thing, but I'm gonna reinforce it with this hand here. And again, if I try to do this with my arms, be strong, don't let, ah. But if I do it with my center, there we go. Okay, so let's come on back just a little bit. So from here, how do we execute Sankyo? We're going to shift our one point, and if I shift it straight forward, be strong, it doesn't break his balance, I shift it this way. As soon as the balance starts to break, fingertips down. And then, then we have up to three Sankyo pins. Here's one, here's another, and a final one. So I, cut, I put my hand where his hand was. I do the exercise with my body. And see, when he's here, he's stable. If I try to go down, nothing happens. I haven't controlled the shoulder. As soon as I start to shift, now it's balanced. Now the shoulder will go down with the hand. Put it on my uh, outside of my thigh and arc it. Put my hands in here. This is a hijikatami, but with a sankyo, or a straight arm pin. Okay, for these seven basic arts uh, versions, we're going to do them all from uh, Ushiro Tekubidori. Okay. So that was preliminary. We're going to do that one again. It's got my wrists. I'm gonna roll forward, catch, come out, and now we, this one is characterized by fingertips going down, taking the slack out. Now, be strong, but I'm here, I'm lowering it, lowering it, and that takes us balance. We lower the fingertips down without moving forward, nothing happens. We have to move forward. Now that it's moving forward, we can lower it, so this is like our fundamental, simplest method. One, two. Okay, in that last one, we controlled the shoulder by moving forward and dropping the fingertips. This is how we controlled it. If you just dropped the fingertips without moving forward, nothing would happen. This is how we did it. Which meant that it took a bit of space. Right? He's got me... If I start here to do this properly, he's moved up nine feet. You know. Maybe you don't have that kind of space. So there's different situations. So here, I'm going to show, well, instead of putting the fingertips down, we're going to put the blade of the hand parallel to the ground and down. And we can do this without much injury. Again, what people, when I say that, people want to firm up and really twist it. Be strong. All they have to do is bring the, bring it here. Almost no, nothing going on there. 
Now I lower it. So this is a much more compact sound field. You see, I only had to move a half a foot. So I'm still out in front of him, but now I slide to the side. The sword is like cutting this way. The sword is, and then I lower it. And I have control. I sometimes call a version of this the Sankyo, the Sankyo, when I take the Sankyo off right here, just to show you that the mere moving of the, the hand like this without Sankyo on, and there's absolutely no pain then, <laughs> right? So we only have the Sankyo on for insurance. I'm not using it. It's the movement that causes it to fall. So this is actually my preferred Sankyo. Okay, so on the first one, fingertips down, going forward, I took our shoulder. On the second one, by doing, by putting this sideways, that took the shoulder in a much smaller space and you can collapse them down. This third one, we're gonna put the palm down. I'm, I'm, instead of putting the fingertips down or the side, I'm gonna line this palm up and drop it down. Now, warning, if you try to blend, oh, let me drop down the fingers there. That doesn't work. You have to get the palm. Notice that's when the shoulder went. Shoulder's fine, fine, oh, there it goes. Now drop it down, and then you bring it straight up as the time it collapses, because you always want the, the wrist higher than the elbow, the elbow higher than the shoulder, so you can hold them down. So sometimes I call this the elevator drop. Get the elevator so they can hold the people, drop it down, and there you go. It's also a very compact movement. Okay, so so far, moving forward, fingertips down, takes the shoulder out. Moving sideways, fingertips to the side, blade to the hand, down, takes them out. Or making this palm go to the Floor. And notice, I just hold myself strong, I can have my fingers here. So when you do it, the fingers need to go behind. And this should be out in front of me a little. If it's back here, it's not going to do anything. And that's another way. All right, so fingertips down, side of the hand down, palm down. What's left, how about the back of the hand? Here, you might say I did a really lousy Sankyo. I'm looking at them and look, the palm's up. But guess what? Works beautifully, and it actually doesn't hurt at all. One. So what I'm going to do is look at them a little, which I don't usually do. And the energy is going to come out the wrist at the uh, joint near the uh, thumb and near the pinky. And I'm going to lower that right down and forward. Up. And then I put the Sankyo back on. The Sankyo is there, but it's doing nothing, <laughs> right? At this point, it's just there. If he tries to hit me, though, it's there, right? So you have your protection. So this is yet another way, right? Maybe you say, oh, look, I messed up on my Sankyo. Don't sit there and try to change it. Enjoy that mess up. Because even without this, you can see it's just a very good way to take the shoulder. So now we're taking the shoulder this way. It's very similar to the fingers down, but it's a little more efficient, actually. Because I can do it in a little smaller space. Okay, so forward and down, sideways, palm down, or on this one, the back of the palm down and forward. Um, all those are methods to go down. Now we're going to change just the, more of the ending here. So um, sometimes we might call this omote, or sometimes it's called san, uh, ikkyo style. But I'm here, and I don't know who's behind me. So what I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to step in front, not directly in front, but I'm going to face him. I'll be right here and finish it this way. So I'll call that omote since that's 
one. Now this is very similar to the putting this sideways. So notice I start to come down and then I put it sideways and then I roll the elbow. So the purpose of this is primarily, I don't know what's behind me. Now I do. Okay, so that last one was omote, and as you do it, you want to drop these down and then swing it through. This is this will really take the person off balance. So if he comes and I'm here, you almost don't need to roll it if you have a nice, beautiful movement. And you say, well, are you doing that on the pain? Well, look, I'm not even going to get some here this time. I'm on the hand. It still works. All your sankyos should work on the basis of the movement, not on pain. Because people can ignore pain. Okay, on this next one, we're going to finish it in a different direction. Ura, which means we're going to go behind him. Here. Instead of going in front of him, I bring it here. Now it's really easy for me to start trying to honk him down here, be strong. But all I have to do is tilt, 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 and I turn in a circle. So sometimes it's also called tension. You, you could start it this way also and then finish it this way. Variations, right? But I'm just showing you the most direct version of this that differs. Hey, I'm looking. Come on up. You, you can come up, but look, I'll tilt it down. Now, instead of pushing, I turn, leading through the elbow, and you're all set for a chance. Okay, let's do a seventh one, right? So here we are. He's got me. I'm here. Now, for some reason, he's really fearful of this, and he's pulling back like crazy. Go with it. So this is a reverse Sankyo. I don't usually do it unless the situation like he's really... Then I send the energy down his elbow. And then you have to loosen up on the arm to get it to it. And here, he pulls back. I'm going to send the energy, zing. And then loosen up my grip. So now I get the Sankyo again, but I had to I've come around 100, 360 now. I want to go forward, he goes back, okay. And I have the Sankyo anytime I can use it. Okay, so those are seven applications, and we showed them from Ushiro Tikubidori. Uh, just to give you a, a sense of the very, you, these could be done from anything. And let's go ahead and do it from Yoko Minuchi. So this first one makes sense if you go under, nice easy movement. You could also do the second one that same way, you know, just a side cut. Maybe you get over here and you say, I want to be beside him. Now I have the elevator drop for the lowering down. I, again, I might be looking at him, drop the fingertips forward, drop. I'd be here saying, what do I do? There's your omote drop. Same situation, I'm going to go behind and put a drop. I may say, wow, it's not going, okay. Broken elevator drop or reverse sankyo drop. And of course, there's more sankyo as possible, but those are nice, seven nice ones for you to work on. Hey.